Okay, now we continue with example 5B. Find limit x to 0 from the right x the power of sin x. This example you can refer in page 23, chapter 2 in your handout. Okay, this question is under type 5 which is 0 the power of 0. Okay, because if we substitute 0 into variable x here, so we have 0. And then we substitute 0 into sin x here, so we have 0. So it means that the answer gives 0 the power of 0 when we use direct substitution. And this is also in determinate form. Okay, so we can use L'Hopital rule. But under L'Hopital rule, we need to change into the form of type 1, which is 0 over 0, and type 2, which is infinity over infinity. Okay, it means that we need to change from power here to fraction. Okay, so how to change from power here to fraction? Okay, okay first step, we let y equals to the function in limit. Okay, which is x the power of sine x. Okay, and after that, we taking natural logarithm on both sides. Okay, okay, we put ln on both sides. Okay, and then from right hand side, we can use the properties of logarithm log a m the power of p equals to p log a m. Okay, to change into the form of multiplication operation. Okay, so from here, we can write log ln y equals to, we can bring sine to the front, okay, using the properties of logarithm. So we have sine x times ln x, okay. So from here, we use properties of logarithm log a m the power of p equals to p log a m. We move power to the front, okay, under properties of logarithm, okay. Ln also is one of the logarithm function, okay, but ln is natural logarithm which is log base e, okay, e is an Euler numbers. Okay. Alright, after that, okay, now we have multiplication function. So after that, we need to turn to fraction. Okay, because to use L'Hopital rule, we need to write into the form of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. And that is fraction. So how to write from multiplication function to fraction? Okay, the best way is we move sin x down okay and when we move sin x down it become cos x because cos x is 1 over sin x okay so now we get this this is fraction okay so after we get fraction then we can take limit on both sides okay because the question is about limit okay so now, we're taking limit on both sides. So we can write limit x to 0 from the right. Okay. Ln y equals to ln limit x to 0 from the right. Ln x over cos x. Okay. Okay. From the previous slide, we're taking limits on both sides here. Okay. And then, after that, for left-hand side, okay, when we solve limit x to 0 from the right ln y, there is no variable x to substitute into here. So, the answer should be ln y. Okay, and then for right-hand side, okay, there is variable x here. Okay, so if we use direct substitution, we have ln 0 over Cosec 0. Cosec 0 means 1 over sine 0. Okay. So, we have infinity over infinity. Okay. So, this is under type 2. Okay. So, now after we simplify, 
limit x to 0 from the right ln y. We have ln y because you know whatever x to substitute. And then from right hand side, okay, there are whatever x here. Okay, but when we use direct substitution, it gives type 2 which is infinity over infinity. Okay, so what need we do after this? Okay, every time when we have either in type 1, 0 over 0 or type 2, infinity over infinity, we can use L'Hopital rule to solve limits. Okay, so when we apply L'Hopital rules, okay, so we need to differentiate numerator and denominator. We only, we only apply L'Hopital rule on the right hand side because L'Hopital rule is to evaluate limits. Okay, on the left hand side, no more limit because when we solve limit x to 0 from the right ln y just now, we have ln y because no whatever x to substitute. So that's why only right hand side now, we use L'Hopital rule because right hand side has term containing limits. Okay. Okay, so from here, we differentiate numerator. So we differentiate ln x, we have 1 over x. Okay. And then we differentiate cosec x. So we have negative cosec x cot x. Okay. And after that, okay, we need to simplify this. Okay. When we move cosec to numerator, so we have sin x because cosec x is reciprocal function for sin x. Okay, so when we move to right hand side, it should be sin x. Okay, and then when we move cot x to numerator, so we have tangent x. Okay, because cot x is reciprocal function for tangent x. Okay, or tangent x equals to 1 over cot x. Okay. And then from here, we can write a fraction negative sin x tangent x over x. Okay. And again, every time when we have single fraction, we can try to use direct substitution to solve limit. Okay. But after we use direct substitution, okay, we have Type 1, 0 over 0. Because when we substitute 0 into x here, so we have sin x which is 0. And tangent 0 also 0. Okay, and then from denominator, we have x here. So when we substitute 0 into x here, so we have 0. So it means that when we use direct substitution, okay, we have 0 over 0 which is indeterminate form. Okay, under type 1. Okay. Okay, from the previous slide, we have ln y equals to limit x to 0 from the right, negative sin x tangent x over x. Okay, so from here, we can try to use direct substitution to evaluate limits. And when we substitute 0 into x here, so we have sin 0 is 0, tangent 0 is 0, and then over 0 means that we have under type 1, 0 over 0, which is in determinate form. So from here, every time when we get into the form of type 1, 0 over 0 or type 2, infinity over infinity, we can solve limits using L'Hopital rule. Okay? And when we use L'Hopital rule, we need to differentiate numerator and differentiate denominator. Okay? So when we differentiate negative sign x, tangent x, we need to use product rule because this is multiplication function. And then when we use product rule, we need to identify which function as u and which function as v. So now our u is negative sign x and our v is tangent x. Okay, after that we differentiate negative sign x so we have negative cos x and then we differentiate tangent x so we have z squared x. Okay. Okay. And then after we differentiate, okay, we have we still have ln y here because ln y no more limit expression, so we no need to use L'Hopital rule. Okay, we just use L'Hopital rule for 
right hand side only because right hand side has term containing limits okay so from okay from here okay when we differentiate negative sign x tangent x okay and when we use product rule okay we have v u prime plus u v prime so we multiply tangent and negative cos x so we have negative cos x tangent x plus negative sine x set square x okay here we put here and then we differentiate numerate denominator x so we have one here okay and after that we no need to write over one so we have ln y equals to limit x to zero from the right negative cos x tangent x minus sine x set square x no need to write over one okay and from here, we can evaluate, we can try to evaluate limits, okay? Okay, so to evaluate limit uh, with three go, okay, we can move set squared to denominator to get basic three go, okay? Because set squared x is reciprocal function for cos squared x, okay? So from here, we can try to substitute, okay? When we substitute 0 into variable x, so we have negative cos 0, tangent 0, minus sine 0 over cos 0 bracket squared. Okay. Okay, from the previous slide, we get ln y equals to minus cos 0, tangent 0, minus sine 0 over cos 0 bracket squared. Okay, and from here, Cos 0 equals to 1. Okay. Tangent 0 equals to 0. Sin 0 equals to 0. Cos 0 equals to 1. Okay. Then we can write y equals to negative 1 times 0 minus 0 over 1 squared. Okay. And then we have ln y equals to 0. Okay. After that, we need to write y as a subject. Okay, so from right hand side, from left hand side, we have ln y here. So to write y as a subject, we need to move ln to right hand side. Okay, so when we move ln to right hand side, it becomes e. Okay, exponential function. So now we move ln to right hand side. So we have y here equals to e the power of zero. Okay. And then e the power of 0 is 1 because under properties of indices, any value the power of 0 will become 1. E here actually is Euler numbers, okay, which is equals to 2.718 something, okay. Then after that, okay, we need to replace y in terms of x the power of sine x, okay, equals to 1 here, okay. Where we get this, okay? Remember from step 1, we let y equals to x the power of sine x, okay? In the previous slide, okay? In the first slide, okay? Uh, we write the function in limit as y. So now we replace back, okay? y equals to x the power of sine x, okay? And after that, the question is asking about limit. So, after that, we need to taking limits on both sides. Okay. Okay, when we taking limit on both sides, so we have limit x to 0 from the right, x the power of sine x equals to limit x to 0 from the right, 1. Okay. And then we can solve this. Okay. So, we have... Limit x to 0 from the right 1 equals to 1. Okay. We can check the final answer using symbol lab. Okay. But please make sure that the syntax should be correct. Okay. So we have limit x to 0 and then x the power of sine x. After we press enter or click go, so we have the final answer 1. Okay. Here. Okay. Got it? 
Coming up next, example for type 5, which is infinity to the power of 0 using log Peter rule. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.